This kind of problem solving is a very important skill to have in physics and engineering. So in this problem, we have a box that initially starts at rest on top of a hill. The box then slides down the hill. We want to find an equation for the maximum velocity of this box. So what I can do to solve this problem is recognize that we are at rest on top of this hill. So at this point, we're going to have a maximum potential energy. This box then slides all the way down this hill and moves with this highest velocity at ground level, which means we have a maximum kinetic energy at the end of this descent. Based on the laws of conservation of energy, the initial potential energy is going to equal the final kinetic energy. The equation for gravitational potential energy is mass times gravitational acceleration times the height at which the object is raised. The equation for linear kinetic energy is one half mass times velocity squared. I can cancel the mass on both sides and I can also multiply two on both sides of the equation to get the one half and the two to cancel here. All I need to do from here is square root both sides of the equation and this will give me the formula I need for the final velocity of the box.